Welcome to another episode of St. Vincent and Told Stories. On this episode, we look at the loss of a volcano in St. Vincent and the impact that the volcano would have on tourism. Uh, big ups to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like uh, button, uh, the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon if you wish to see more videos like these. As I said in the previous episode, uh, the persons in the orange zone was given the green light to go home. Anyone who went home uh, from the 6th of May, can you update untold stories what life is like? How are you coping with the ashes? How are you eating and drinking and sleeping at night? Uh, does it feel safe? Were the roads properly cleaned? Has anyone from Nemo come to your assistance? Was transportation provided for you to transport your stuff from the shelter to your homes? I know uh, that you had life uh, very rough before because of extreme poverty. Is it worse now? Uh, there are so many unanswered questions uh, that we need answers for. Uh, the workers uh, that worked at the Bookerman Resort, were they ever paid? Were they ever given severance pay? I saw an article which says sandals to provide 500 jobs in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I am sure that is not the first time you are hearing something like this. So what happened the last time? Did it went on a pause? Or uh, were the investors afraid to invest because of the big sea? But now the volcano erupted and tourists are looking at us. Uh, they plan to start now. All the Rasta men are planting the stuff for medical use. Have you sold any? Who are the buyers we need to know? Because uh, there was planting going on and uh, there seemed to be no buyers. And you see, uh, this is why we often say St. Vincent and the Grenadines is definitely not a real place. It's got to be an imaginary one. What is going on with the projects at the Mount Green? Are, are the projects in Mount Green finished? I like to see what the business mogul did in the Grenadines. Is the volcano relief really going to be donated in an orderly manner and not by a political one? What is the percentage of unemployment in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Is there any money remaining from the prime grant and the stimulus package for the big C? Are farms still being accepted for prime grant? If the money is finished, how can we have persons still bringing in farms? Uh, since the volcano erupted, uh, did anyone go to Dove Cut uh, because uh, they were not uh, placed on the dialysis machine. Uh, what is the total amount of volcanic relief funds as the government of St. Vincent received so far? Uh, what is the plan for factories and industries in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Fruits are falling off of trees. And now that water is uh, back, what are we going to do with the bottled one? Remember they said uh, that they are looking for things with expiry date. So are they going to hold them up or are they going to still give them away? In St. Vincent right now, we have a major problem. If you go into a shop or a supermarket, you have to purchase the bag separately. But uh, some people don't have the money to purchase the bag. You have to work out the goods in your hand. Uh, simple things like these uh, that needs fixing is making the country look bad. Imagine a lady goes into a shop, she purchases. Uh, two pounds of chicken back. She have to walk out with those two pounds of chicken back in her hand. Everybody has to know how the lady lives. It is like uh, they are taking away everything from us. I understand the part where you guys are saying uh, that we are trying to create a safe environment. So you got rid of the plastic bags. Uh, so you have to find another alternative. Uh, one time I went into a shop uh, to buy two pounds of rice. And that the shopkeeper told me that he have some bags, $4 for one. Imagine paying $4 for two pounds of rice and buying a bag for the same price. And that bag can't eat. I don't know. We have seen everything gone back to normal in St. Vincent. Uh, there isn't any social distancing outside anymore. 
I think what we need to boost our tourism industry, we need one of the investors in Dubai to come and show we a thing or two. Uh, because I can't understand why so many resorts in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is failing. And, and not because of the big sea. Some were failing long before the big sea started. Uh, personally, we the staff at Untold Stories uh, don't uh, know what ash is used for. Probably we can research it and find out. But if we say the ash can be sold back to other countries, what are we doing with the ash that is being picked up on the road with the government trucks? Uh, do they dump them at a dump site? Or uh, a storage facility has been put in a place uh, to store the ash? Some are saying uh, that the ash can be used to make cement. Uh, but from my observation, when rain falls on the ash, it becomes a sticky again. Temporary schools uh, to be placed in a swimming pool. Uh, from you hear that, you know that we are speaking about the old Iti Joshua tarmac uh, that floods out when there is heavy rainfall. I thought uh, that there were plans to put a city at Annisville. Are the investors running from the swimming pool? A ward on the street has it. Uh, that there will be a protest in front of the parliament building uh, this coming Tuesday. One of the major issues on the protest list is that uh, they are going to protest against Neem. Uh, let me briefly explain something. You see, when you go out to protest, please don't wear any party colors uh, because uh, not only the yellow team I saw protesting against Neem, I also saw uh, the red team as well. So you want to see if possible, we'll sit back and allow certain things to happen in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We want to see if now is the time that forces are taking a stance. And there is a word with a C that they are also going to protest against. Uh, but it's years now that thing have been going on in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, but most people are seeing what happened to Desran Rajigas and they are coming out now in their numbers against certain things. Uh, when you guys go to protest on Tuesday, uh, please uh, change that formula that you guys have been using. Instead of uh, putting on the yellow or the white color, why not try a different color and let everyone in St. Vincent who is against injustice stand in solidarity with you all. Uh, right uh, now, everybody is feeling the pinch in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, even the big business places. It is not because they are not speaking out. Uh, but you can see how the economy is going right now. Uh, just to show you that I'm speaking the truth. Imagine sons of big business moguls have to go for a prime grant. Uh, the grant should have been for poor ghetto youths who are creators, who are inventors, and who are struggling with business. It not should have been for men who are saying keep them in a position. You should have been the one setting an example and showing us that the economy is running properly. In St. Vincent, if you don't dress a certain way, you don't look a certain way, it's like uh, the bigger heads deem you as a nobody. Uh, but when you look at the House of Parliament and the videos coming out of there, you often wonder, isn't it the same behavior going on on the streets? Uh, so, uh, like how the volcano erupt and the domes are now gone, is the equipment at the volcano still intact? How do these scientists receive information? Do they receive them via a satellite? Uh, Professor Robertson, what is going on with the equipment up at the summit? Uh, can you guys uh, provide us with some drone footage of the volcano? Because all we are seeing you know, is just some writings on Nemo's wall. Uh, Gem, I was asking and told stories if shelter life was nice. Uh, not really, you know. But when you see the big man, I uh, tell him I say there's a lot to be done. Uh, big ups to all the mothers in the whole wide world. And I hope you guys enjoy your mother's day yesterday. I want to just take the time out to big up everyone in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, the other Caribbean countries and the international countries as well. Uh, that is always helping out and praying for St. Vincent. We thank you.